True leaders like this set themselves apart. They're the ones with their sights on the future. The ones who stay above the fray and rise to leadership positions where they can capitalize on their unique skills. And for a leader like this, the setting doesn't seem to matter. Whether it's food products or the beer industry, or furniture design. Leaders like this with groundbreaking careers earn their place in the Hall of Fame. I love leading high-performing teams to deliver results. I really do. I really love the challenge of leadership, and I, and I consider it an honor and, frankly, a responsibility to work with teams. And I think when I've chosen different paths, you know, different career choices, different, different points in the road, the thinking through the team dynamics has definitely been part of the equation for me. She's worked in three different industries. While going from the snack industry to the beer industry, you can see some similarities. But then going to the design industry is just remarkable that she has the flexibility, versatility to be able to do that. Here she was at once in the brewing business where uh, those issues relative to distribution and brand are very important. Crossing over to the furniture side, certainly distribution and brand there, but also execution is really important. So it's not surprising to me that Lynn has been very successful. I mean, these are risks that she's taken each time she's made these leaps. And her willingness to take the risk and meet the challenges and then be so successful is amazing to me. A lot of women have broken that glass ceiling, and I am thrilled, both politically and in the business world. But I would say there are still some shards <laughs> sticking out as, as you know as, as they've broken through. There's still some shards. Lynn's accomplishments are remarkable for any individual, without respect to gender. But what she's done as a woman in very untraditional fields for women, I think, is is especially remarkable. I wouldn't be surprised if people don't make a run at her for even. Uh, future opportunities, but whatever it is, it's going to be good. I think she absolutely is a trailblazer. She's shown uh, her versatility and her ability to, to just climb all these mountains. I have achieved things that most people only dream of, and I consider myself really lucky. But I've still got some hills to climb and some mountains to, uh, to peak. Every one of you, I'm going to repeat that, every one of you has the potential to be successful as you define it. An economy thriving? The business school ends up being, this, being central to all of that, and McCombs, to me, is, is where the future of the state of Texas and frankly our nation resides.